Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video we will learn about if else statement in C++. But before we start make sure to subscribe to channel and press the bell icon next to it so that you never miss our future videos. Now let's move to our topic. First of all let's learn the syntax of if else statement. It consists of two blocks which is if block and else block. The if block holds some condition inside the parenthesis and based on the condition it prints the statement that is enclosed within the brackets. If the condition is true then it will execute the statement and if the condition is false then the statements inside the else block will be executed. So now you got the basic idea of how if else statement works in C++. Now let's go to code blocks and see how it actually works in coding. Here I have created a C++ file and we have our boiler code written. So inside the main function we will write our program. First of all let's declare a variable named as x and assign 5 to it. After that let's write the syntax of if else statement. Now here we will specify the condition. Let's say that I want to put the condition that if our variable is greater than 4 then print the statement that the number is greater than 4. Else what should we do is just see out that the number is not greater than 4. So let's run the program and here you see that it prints the following statement inside the if block because the condition is true. Once again let's see how the program actually works. So first of all the compiler will try to find the main function. Once it finds the main function then it starts executing the lines of code written inside it and finds the line where we have declared and initialized the variable x. So in the memory a container is created of name x and 5 is put it inside that. After that the condition is checked whether the variable is greater than 5 or not. If the condition is true then the compiler will execute the block of lines inside the if statement. Instead it will execute the else part of our program. But as in our case the condition is true hence it will execute the code written within the if block and executes the line that print the number is greater than 4 on the screen. And finally the compiler will came out of the if else statement and as we have not written any code after that so the program will definitely be ended. Now here is the quick exercise for you. What you have to do is simply take a number from the user with the help of cin statement and check if the number given by the user is even. If it is then print the message that the number is even. Else it will print that the number entered by the user is odd. So it is very simple exercise just go ahead and spend a little time. So I hope you have learned the if else concept in this video. In the next video we will see else if statement in C++. So make sure to subscribe to channel and press the bell icon next to it. So that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.